Okay, what is going on everyone? Phil here and welcome to a special playthrough. First of all, the reason I am playing the game that I'm about to begin is due to my patrons. Once again, we hit a, a funding goal for the month of January. Alright! Unsolved mysteries! Find out who gives a shit! 2017, and because we hit it, they were able to nominate and vote on games for me to play for a patron's choice playthrough. And once again, the patrons have done a good job of picking a game and a franchise that I had absolutely no idea existed, had no knowledge of up to now, and no, it is not Yakuza Zero. That's just my dad. Update! Probably no one gives a shit, so fuck up! It says the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. What does that mean? So if you're the very best at being a dickhead, if I could slap you through the fucking internet, I would. And like not paying attention in class. Like Match the flags to their corresponding province, state, or country. What? Oh, fuck me. Being a class clown, you- Yeah, 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 yeah! Come on! Get your shirts off! I'm gonna take your shirts off! Take your shirts off! Take your shirts off! Go here. I'm the very best at impregnating underage girls. Yeah. All right. I'm here. All right. Well, anyway, and standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me with my all dark emo clothing and my spiky hair, my stereotypical Before Japanese spiky farther, hair. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Huh? Hold on. Adjusting my volume here on my headphones. I think I'll I will up the game volume a tiny bit here, but I know it was super loud That's why I lowered it so much. All right As you can see I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student Average on the outside average on the inside. I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades special abilities even personality Wait a minute. Then how the hell did he get in? He just explained you have to be exceptional to get into this school. What's he doing here? But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope Speak Academy. Right, how'd he get here? Uh... The music got louder again, so I'm lowering my headphones again. I don't know what's going on with this game. It's out of control. What the hell? And then they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader. What the hell? He looks like, uh, freaking... Does he look like Karama from, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho? He has the same hairdo. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, and the ultimate masturbator. Oh. That last one will leave off the list. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to become to this ultimate high school? All right, well, so he's just as puzzled as we are. Well, how the hell he got in? We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Huh. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope Speak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. What the? Okay. And then a toilet bowl appeared in front of me and flushed the school away. What the hell? And then the next moment, everything went black. Anyway, that's how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Okay. Welcome to Despair Prologue. What on earth? 
That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Ugh. <laughs> By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, another new kid? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Now, wait a minute. Some of these kids look, you know, okay, passable. Some of them are stereotypes. Some of them are insane. Look at this guy on the right. His body's covered in disgusting scars. It looks like Zangief and wrestling bears in the freaking Russian woods. You got some guy with hair. It looks like he just had his fucking finger in an electric socket. Jesus Christ. Look at the guy there next to the guy with the scars. His eyes are silly oversized. He's got eyebrows. What the fuck? This is really weird. And dude, I was right. He looks just like Karama on the left here. Also, like the kid in the back who looks like he's like a 40-year-old overweight guy. <laughs> Standing before me were the ultimate students that have been handpicked by the school. Wait a minute, the person with the scars is wearing a dress. That's supposed to be a girl? What the? Wait a minute. No, pan back to the right. This dude with the scars is wearing a dress. It's supposed to be a woman. What the fuck? Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nagi. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi, huh? My name's Makoto Naegi. Mm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curious. My god. She's pale as shit. She's wearing like thumb metal. No. Finger metal things? What is happening? Yeah. That's a good point. What the hell? She looks like the normalest girl here. She's not a stereotype at all. She's like super generic. Plain, plain white bread. Um. She's kind of generic too. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Alright, let's talk to the most generic girl. Well, she's like super plain. Let's talk to her first. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Oh. Sayaka Maizono, she's the pop star. Pop sensation. She doesn't look like much of a pop star. Huh? Did you hear me? Uh... I'm psychic. What the hell? Huh? <laughs> Kidding, I just have really good intuition. Let's talk to Chubbs. I am Hifumi Yamada. What if you want to call me by my nickname? The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Uh, how about fucking... How about what it would look like if Yokozuna ate Dom DeLuise? Jesus, dude. He's a walking diabetes here. My work is filled with the deepest meaning. By the way, I'm full aware that for some reason it skipped a line of dialogue. I didn't do that. That was weird. Who's this guy? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Uh, why does he look so angry? Okay, who's this? Maybe not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Whoa! I'm Toko. Toko Kukawa. Hey! Basically, if she could write better than Fifty Shades of Grey at 10... Uh, she's going places, and by the way, it's probably not too hard to write anything better than Fifty Shades of Grey, so... Good job for her! <laughs> Alright, now we got this dude. The military I'm brat. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade! What is wrong with his eyes? Someone get this guy some fucking... Visine or something. Jesus! He's so... His eyes are so red, my god! He's the ultimate moral compass. Yeah, he's the ultimate fucking stick in the grass, the ultimate fucking stickler, the ultimate bore. Who we got here? Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? <laughs> Aoi Asahina, but they call her Hina. The ultimate swimming pro. That's bullshit, because she's got boobs. And if you've ever seen any of the pro swimmers, they don't have big boobs because the truth of the matter is that it creates water resistance. They have the slimmest like bodies possible to get through the water quickly. So this is actually pretty unrealistic, but. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Well, she's blushing. She seems like she's embarrassed. What's with her eyes? Why is she crying? I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Weird. Who is this girl? Uh, um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay. Ultimate question mark. You don't know who she is. This is the fashionista girl, I bet. Hi, I'm 
Junko and Ashima. Charmed, I'm sure. Yep. The fashionista. So many dreams are getting crushed today. What the hell? She looks fine. What a dick. He's being a fucking dick. Now, here he is. Uh, here he is, Karamo. Oh, wait, his name's Mondo. Well, he looks like Karamo. <clears throat> name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> nice to fucking meet you. Wow, what an what a intro line. By the way, is he wearing mascara? What the hell is that coming off the bottom of his eyeballs? It might be like eye makeup. I don't know. The ultimate biker gang leader. You know, the kind of person they recruit for high school. What the fuck? Mondo Akawa, huh? Okay, here's the next grouping. Oh my god. These four are the only ones left. Uh... I'm gonna go from right to left. <laughs> I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Now wait a minute. Her name is Celestia Ludenberg, yet on the, the, the screen here it says Celeste, so what's her name? The ultimate gambler? What? Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer that you call me Celeste. Okay. What the flip is going on with this kid? How does he even get his hair like that? I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Huh. <laughs> He's the ultimate clairvoyant? Uh. Bya Byakuga? What a name. Name is Byakuya Togami. Bya Byakuya. Bya Byak Bya Byakuya. Bya I can't say his name. Byakuya? Byakuya. Byakuya. I'm gonna call him Black Black. Jesus. Byakuya. Byakuya. Bya. Hold on a second. I gotta take a sip of water. Okay, let's try this again. Byakuya, Byakuya, Byakuya Togami. He's and now it's time for this delectable hottie right here, baby. I mean, let's take it. I can't wait for her to put my head between her legs and just fucking put me into a, a nice, uh... Okay. I am Sakura Ogami. You are uh, something else. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. She defeated Conor McGregor for the UFC Championship. <laughs> um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. Now, wait a minute. PDA? PDAs have been outdated for the greater part of 15 years. Ever since we started up with tablets and then smartphones, PDAs? Uh... uh to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Wait a minute, this voice sounds very familiar. Was this voice the voice of something else that I've done recently? Maybe. Maybe Persona 4. It could have been the voice of something, because it sounds very familiar. Hmm. Plus, he's got a fucking barbecue corn cob on his head. What the heck? Look at his hair. It looks like a friggin'... It does. It looks like an ear of corn. <laughs> what is going on? You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? Alright, and goodbye to the Dragon Slayer, who unfortunately, former, formerly used to be a fan. All of a sudden, today, out of thin air, out of nowhere, sends me two videos that were hater videos. One of them is his. And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Huh. Well, prologue. Welcome to despair. Complete. All students survived, of course. The fact that there was a tally means that probably there's going to be students dropping left and right. Damn. All right, well... What is this now? A colored bullet. Look at this. It must be the intro to the game. Okay. Well, content ID claim. I'm prepared for you. I'm probably going to get claimed on this video. Trigger happy havoc. Dangan Rampa. Makoto Negi. Oh. Leon Kawada and Sayaka. 
Ejikiro and Kuyotaka. And Kyoko, who we don't know anything about, and Celestia. What the hell's this? Weird. Boom, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, boom, 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 Hello, I am Monokuma. Yakuga and Toko. And don't forget Mondo and Hippomi. And he eats some pancakes with I. Or is it Oi? Or... I'm Aoi Asahina. Sakura. And then Yashihiro and Junko. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. Great. It sucked out the hallway complete. <laughs> Time has come for Jen. Told you that I cannot read. Hope is gone. It's time for despair. Monokuma says it's time to die. What the fuck is this game? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm about to fucking play. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. But the bets are that intro will be claimed. <laughs> that the intro will be content ID claimed. Save the data now. I don't want to save. Ah, from zero to hero. From zero to Yasuhiro. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat. It's a, as a, my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I almost fucked up. Chapter one. To survive daily life. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something absurd as this. But I just lost track of that. Lost. Lost. I lost. I lost. I, lo I can't say this. I lost track of that reality. Why couldn't I say that? That was bizarre. I need a sip of water. I have no idea why I couldn't say that. When I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Naked women. Oh. Oh. Fudge. I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Like giving me this nice, big, raging, inquisitive nature. <laughs> Byaku Bakuya. I can't say that name. Byakuya and Taka went, each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. And Shakiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um... Your next-door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Well, that's a good thing. Because I'll be honest, when I, you know, every time that I ever dormed up or lived with anyone, noise is a major problem. Why you guys gotta pick on me? Don't you have some prohibition gig to run? Oh, she wrote. Oh, boy. Say, Uncle. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. God damn it. I seriously didn't double tap, but sometimes when I touch the button, the PS4 controller is like really sensitive and it double presses and skips a set of things. So now I have no idea what she just said. Damn. Free time, motherfuckers. You got the free time. Let's talk to, uh, Oi. Um, How do you pronounce her name? Aoi or Oi? I'm Aoi Asahina. It's a fish tank. There's a bunch of little fish swimming around inside. And I got a coin. It's a urinal. There's turds inside. Someone chat in the urinal. What a bunch of dicks. This is the girls' bathroom. Obviously, I can't go. What do you mean, obviously, you can't go in? Of course you can. You gotta free yourself, man. Be uninhibited. You were kidnapped. It's now time to, to figure all this shit out. Oh, Jesus Christ! Scared me, man! Fuck, don't be hiding around corners like that! Being manly... Manly chick! Christ! Hey! Makoto, I... Hmm. Actually, never mind, what did you want? Should I talk to Sakura? Sure, why not? Let's spend time with this big beefy chick! Let's make her our friends or she'll kick everyone else's ass for us! <laughs> uh... Okay? What the hell? That was What's weird. This? The whole menu disappeared and reappeared. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Oh boy. That's all. Uh, okay. 
Uh, this blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty. What the hell? So I get it. Here's the deal. He made all these DVDs. It's going to show all their loved ones fucked up or, or like in, in danger. So they're going to want to have to do those crazy things like kill their, their other classmates to get out of here because they think they can go save their families or something. That's fucked up, man. What the hell? Damn it. How the hell did they get footage of that? Whoa, he was totally freaked out. So I wonder if it was his family or something else. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning, uh, duty took a little longer than usual, yes. His fapping hand was a little sore. Chapter 1, to survive deadly, de deadly life. As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. But then... <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! Uh... Whoa! Uh... Holy shit! He murdered her! <laughs> What the fuck? This wasn't supposed to. Wow. Why me? Suddenly, right at the, at her, the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. Wow, two dead within like five minutes. What is going on all of a sudden? Damn. This is fucked up. A dead body on the fucking floor? What is going on, man? What's actually, what's this chapter called? I'm curious. It's called Deadly Life Daytime. Okay, so the, before it was the free time, and now it's the daytime. So it was morning, free time, daytime. Gotcha. All right. It's so weird that the blood is pink. I wonder if in the original version, if it was red and they changed it. I would think they probably did. So here's the billion dollar question. What, oh, what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Hmm. Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. That's a weird video. That didn't make any sense, right? It really doesn't. Because here's the other thing, right? With, with uh, Makoto's message, Makoto's tape would have made him want to leave to go see what happened to him and help his family, right? Here, she, he's basically saying, oh, I killed all the other girls in your pop group. So here's the billion dollar question. What, oh, what could have caused the group to go to pieces? So then what's the point of her getting out? She can't help them. Look for the answer after graduation. You know? So this, this DVD doesn't seem to make sense. It wouldn't have, probably wouldn't have motivated anybody to get out of here. Look for the answer after graduation. All right, so we got to go to the gym and talk to spiky-haired dude about his crystal ball. I forgot his name. That's why I'm calling him spiky-haired dude. I can't remember his freaking name. So his name is Yasuhiro Hagakure. No wonder I can't remember it. It's such a weird name. Hero for short. When I finally stepped on, the doors closed and the elevator started to move. And that's when the elevator careened to the down and downstairs and killed us all. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, it really is a courtroom. <laughs> dude. This is totally gonna be like Phoenix Wright. It's Phoenix Wright all over again. There's a courtroom and everything. Look at this. All right, look at this. Wow. So already, look, already there's two pictures. One of Siaka and one of uh, Junko with X's over their faces. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Oh, I like the view I got right here of Hina. That's a good one. <laughs> oh my God, so dramatic. Okay, so here we go. The first case. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly silent fart. <laughs> Woo! Silent but deadly. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. <laughs> the fact that the incinerator was on, even though... Uh, what's his name? Hitumi or Hijumi? I forget his name. Okay. And before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? 
Uh, oh, a little creepy, but okay. There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. No, I get the feeling he's full of shit. If there's 16, there's a 16th person on trial. Is it Monokuma? Killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Oh, that's bullshit. Evidence of a struggle. The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. Right. She didn't even have a chance to resist. There. I fired. I assert that the one who was What the hell? I fired twice and didn't do anything. Huh? I've now fired the bullet twice and it didn't work. What? Was I Oh, I was actually Wait a minute. I was actually supposed to aim for the actual words? Oh my god, I didn't know that. You can eliminate white noise with your silencer by targeting and pressing X. If you successfully eliminate white noise, your timer will increase. Murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. That's that's white yeah, noise. I no tried, it didn't work. Already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. There! I actually yeah. had to hit the word. She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. Whoa, it's weird because we barely heard her voice at all. Now you finally heard the voiceover. She has that weird accent. Okay. 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 How do I load my truth bullets? I don't know. I'm holding L1. It's not working. They said it was L1, but L1 is just taking taking that away. Weird. Okay. Okay. No, that's wrong. That's wrong, you bitch. <laughs> Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So there's really no incentive for the person who's the accomplice to help the other person unless it's like, for example, oh, I have romantic feelings and I want them to live, so I'll, I'll cover up for them or something. Okay. Okay. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Whoa! Wait a minute, what? What happened? I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking. I just asked her to stay over. Hey now, what kind of sleepover did they have? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, very true. Very true. Okay. 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 My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. True as true can be. He's actually helping. But you know... You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... No, yeah, you had the worst luck. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime they didn't know was... The crime took place in my room. They didn't know that. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. <laughs> oh, here it comes. This is it. This is it. <laughs> now I'm charmed. I'm charmed, which means he's gonna fucking, he's gonna fuck, I'm gonna heal him. I'm gonna heal him. I'm gonna heal him. I know it. And then I quit. If I heal him, I quit. I'm not kidding. I quit the game. I'm done. I'll tell you right now. If I heal him, I quit. He's doing it again! He's doing it again! Oh my god, fuck this. This is insanity. I'm done. This is over. I'm done. I'm not redoing it. I'm done. She's gonna heal him. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. It's over. Goodbye. It's over. That's it for Persona 3, ladies and gentlemen. That's the worst final boss fight I've ever done in an RPG. That's not an exaggeration. That is the worst final boss fight I've ever done. Uh, and I'm not redoing it, so I don't care about the end of the game. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. <laughs> There's no way I say I can let someone in because... 
They switched rooms. Uh, I guess I'm going to say switching rooms. Yeah. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? What? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? That is a good question. I know Why? you don't want to consider it. But look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? Whoa! Look what she just found. A note. Come see me in my room. Check the nameplate to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? Sayaka. It seems like Sayaka was trying to lure someone into the room. Maybe to kill them. Whoa! Maybe she was trying to frame Makoto for it. Yeah, maybe she was trying to kill someone, and because she was in Makoto's room, she would frame him for the murder. Holy shit. Wow, so this is a crazy twist I did not foresee. The, the notepad was not blank at all. There was actually evidence. Look at this. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? Uh... Okay. Okay. Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? Because she was, I'm telling you, she had the knife from the kitchen. She wanted to kill whoever she invited, and she was going to frame Makoto for it. Which doesn't make sense, because then she'd screw everyone over, and they'd all accuse the wrong person in the trial, and they, they would all go to, uh, they'd all be punished or whatever. So it doesn't really make sense she did that, but I don't know. Whoever she invited over is the culprit! But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword-based sneak attack! Uh, that's what okay. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. In other words, at nighttime. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Maybe she washed her hands in the toilet. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yep, the one who damaged the sheath would have had been the one without the sword. Hold on. The one who damaged the sheath would have had to been the one without the sword. It was Sayaka. I got it! Which brings up another point. Makoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Yep, it was her idea. Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Yep. Sayaka wanted to... on me? Yep, you totally fell for it, you dumb shit. You're so gullible. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. <laughs> I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. What a sucker softy he was. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? <laughs> Just hold on! That can't be true! Because... Because... Because I'm a sucker. Hey! <laughs> hey! Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? No. My theory? She was attacking him, Leon. Leon swung the sword, broke her wrist with it, she dropped the knife or the knife plunged into her chest during the struggle, and she killed herself. So Leon was self in self-defense, she killed herself by accident. What the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Oh my god, they're so dumb. You might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You just shot past the clue part and right onto who did it. <laughs> and the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? What is <laughs> The burn remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. Where, when, or how? When? I guess when. The time. Do you really have evidence to prove the time it was destroyed? No. So that was wrong. Okay. 
Where? Nope, that's not it either. Shoot. So then it's the how. I didn't understand this part. How? I got it. If you look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. How? So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. He's like, wait, it's me. If you have to explain a joke, that is no joke! No, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. That's exactly what proves that Leanna is the real killer. I don't know what that is. How? Huh. The shattered crystal ball. What, he threw the crystal ball in there and hit the button? The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? Yes. So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? No, because of the crystal and ball. Oh. Close to the incinerator. oh, here we go. The here we go. No, Use the throw the crystal ball in. Okay. Oh my god, what's this now? Okay. Let's go all the way back. Oh my god. Oh, it's going backwards. Oh my god. Really? know that lint roller you got rid of all the hair I forgot that in Japanese it's it's right to left not left to right oh I was wrong the lint rollers over here here we go he was standing in front of the sword yeah she came at him Huh? She came at him, he blocked with the sword. Then he broke her wrist and she dropped the knife. There you go, that's it. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. What? It says I didn't lay, lay out my reasoning right. What? Yes, I did. She dropped the knife. That it? I guess that was it. There was a there was an extra one. Here's exactly what happened. There was a freaking extra one. There you go. <clears throat> How do I do this? Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. Wow. Stop talking. Shut up! Who's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! Uh -huh. You lie! You're so up. silly! Why is he even in it? Who's your proof? You kidding me? What? What? Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, I was doing it, so there was a 50-something hit combo, and then it ended. Oh. Uh... So now it ends. Yeah. How many of us not be punished? Really I didn't screw up. I refuse to give up yet. I don't even understand what went wrong. I was doing it to the rhythm. When the kill instead. I did it to the fucking rhythm. I'll do it again. It was saying I still had a combo. How did I fail if I still had a fucking combo? That made zero sense. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Stop. Why am I taking damage? Shut up. 
Use your oh. You kidding me? Not a chance. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Dude, this is fucking it weird as hell. Real. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Stupid. You lie. Oh, I had to aim. It was Where's so weird. This should prove it. That was so bizarre. I was trying to aim and sh and aim and select with X while the while always doing the rhythm the triangle. Were removed. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Yep. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you uh -huh. say you stupid, stupid. Owned. Well, I would have liked to do it done better, but you know, it was annoying because it was annoying because I got to see it the final part failing because they didn't explain that you have to like they said aim with with the, the, your thumbstick and X and then press triangle, but it didn't show a cursor. It was so weird. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever done in a game. Seriously. <laughs> The black in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kuwata. <laughs> no matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Yeah, she's saying, oh, let me frame you. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, more importantly. Kills, chills, kills. <laughs> let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for, the punishment. I'm begging you, please, don't do this. Hey. No more begging, Come no more excuses. Now. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Okay. No. What is it? I just want to see what it is. I don't want to hear him scream. Here we go. Okay. Uh. What the hell? A neck collar? Dragged away. In use, look. What the hell? He's going to a batting cage. Oh, great, it's a ball shooter, isn't it? Yeah, he's gonna pummel him to death with balls. Hey, Leon, would you like some balls? <laughs> the 1,000 blows. Oh, my God. Oh. God damn, he's gonna break every bone in his body. Turn him into a pile of mush. Damn. Well, I'm pretty sure he's dead after that. Is that what they call poetic justice? A death that's pertinent to how you lived your life? Huh. Well? If you don't like it... <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. That's only if every single one of you could get on board with that. Uh, evil, you make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. In this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. <laughs> By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Siaka? I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding, I just have pretty good intuition. Uh, I made the Siaka joke. 
Chapter one completed. The end. Yeesh. Down to 12. Three people died in the first chapter. Damn. Dropping like flies. I got the despair bat as a present. I don't know who the hell I'm supposed to give that to. All right, and a trophy. One is the loneliest number. All right, that's it for chapter one. On to chapter two. All right, so let's see the fallout of this first trial. Let's see what the hell happens here. He's completely speechless. No, he says nothing. Nothing at all. No reaction to anything. Did anyone clean up his bathroom? They did. They cleaned up the bathroom. Look. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourself feel better and justify what you did. Nah. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Chapter 2. Boy's Life of Despair. Huh. Okay, lift your arms up and down. Oh my god, what is this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You gotta be kidding me. Now reach way up and bend way down. Oops, you're doing the French mistake. Voila. Tighten those <laughs> muscles. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope Speak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and HDDHD and fucking watching PewDiePie videos and listening to fucking Drake and... You're on Adderall and shit, you know. I gotta keep you motivated. <laughs> What's up there? We're about to find out. Oh! Just a second floor. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. One of these things is not like the other. Can you tell which one I'm about to look at? What the hell is this? <laughs> this is an interesting poster. Obviously, someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this here? <laughs> Yukion, Jesus. Ass up, tits down. What is going on here? Ass up, tits down, baby. Hold on, I gotta take one more look at this before we leave. Hmm. <laughs> I had to give a very thorough investigation before we leave. Okay. Butterflies on the walls. Ugh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's pretty weird. Look, there were windows here. They're all blocked off. Plus, most fanfic is just a porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> it would seem Buka... Be it would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I guarantee you someone's gonna die on those fucking hot coals. Someone's body's gonna get tossed on you. You're gonna find them all charred and shit. I guarantee it. I guarantee you see a nice, fine, charred Japanese teenager here, boy. I tell you what. That's right, boy. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, let's see what's going on in the laundry room. Someone's washing their tidy whities here, scrubbing out the, the Hershey squirts. <laughs> He's in the men's bathroom over here. Find him. He's vomiting profusely. Oh, Jesus! He actually... <laughs> if his ass is drowned inside the pool, what the fuck, man? He better not be. I wanted to see Hina go for a nice swim. She's not going to go in there if he's dead in there. Emperor's thong. It was a thong. Thong, 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 thong. What the... Reality isn't everything, and they drew him like a real bear instead of a teddy bear. It's free time. It's free time now. Yeah, baby. Spend your free time. Uh. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> I can't concentrate with you here. Leave. Oh, what an ass. I hate this idiot. Come on, man. Do you want to play the fucking game? I'm going to let you fucking win so that you can waste your fucking life playing other people. Because I actually like playing fighting games, you fucking idiot. Fuck you. No, you're the bitch because you don't play a fucking fighting game, you stupid oh. cocksucker. You fucking walk back and shoot bullets. You're a fucking idiot. Your mother probably shat you out, you fucking piece of shit. An ass. Okay. 
Our singer's going to the pool for a dip. Come with me. Ooh, I went for a swim with Hina. Ooh. You are free to spend our free time hanging out with others. Talking and doing stuff. Oh, yeah. See who you can find in the school to spend time with. Oh, yeah. Stumble upon someone in the bathroom. Grab them by the balls to say hello. Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. Oh, intrigued by me, huh, honey? Ah, I see. I'll give her a pretty hungry caterpillar. How about that? Hey. Are you sure you're giving this to the right person? She didn't like it. Ah. Uh, are you scared, Makoto? Damn it, she didn't like the present I gave her. Oh! I'll give her the freaking crystal skull. Here, give her a fucking skull. Let's see if she likes this. <laughs> Trying to draw me in with vulgar trinkets? How unappealing. Bring me something a little more befitting someone of my standing. All right, so she sounds like she wants high, high class stuff. Maybe if I given her that designer bag or something, she would have liked that. Okay. All right, so now I know. At least that when I gave, uh, you know, when I gave, what's her name? I can't remember her freaking name. She didn't like it. Celeste wants upper class stuff. I don't know what the hell the other girl wants, though. I really just have no idea. All right. Get something to eat before it's nighttime. So it sounds like he's going to head to the, the dining hall. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it? We're going to see who can stay in the sun of the longest. Am I right? Piece of shit. Goddamn straight. Uh, watch them both die. <laughs> I was just a matter of, uh, I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. That could kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Let me guess someone died. Maybe someone was messing around in the pool, in the pool room and got shot down by that gun. See, here's the thing, though. And this is the truth. Some people have, like, things that they hold to themselves that they think are so embarrassing when in reality, who cares? Like, for example, I had a little accident last year on stream. Who fucking cares? It doesn't matter. That's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me, and it's stupid, and it's not a big deal. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Uh-oh. Blood Oh, shit! God damn. Crucified. Look at that. Strung up. It doesn't look like she was choked to death. It looks like she was just strung up. She was already killed before she was hung up there. That's fucked up, man. I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... <laughs> that's fucked up, man. A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Damn. Deadly life! He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this as an all unfold on a TV screen. Okay. I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? What the fuck? This almost seems like a completely, a completely different attitude, like she has multiple personality disorder or something. <laughs> yeah, see, she's laughing. Okay, it's time to investigate this gruesome murder. And what the hell? Mondo is hiding behind a punching bag for some reason. Look at this. Uh, I got There's something written on the poster. Look. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard your hero talk about it, right? All I need to... All all I need to get stronger? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. Well, he said that quickly and sharp... He said that and then quickly sharp... Oh my god. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. You should, be, should put closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning the handbook is prohibited. But borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> what? So, loaning or borrow... But it's the same thing, right? I don't get it. I don't get how they're they're doing semantics over a word that pretty much means the same thing. Anyway, Monokuma goes, Yo, I would... 
Wait, hold on. You're saying it's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it, so, uh... Who are you? So sleepy. All right, so... What they're saying is it's not... You cannot give your handbook to someone, but someone can accept a handbook. And I guess what they're alluding to is that if Shahiro was already dead, meaning she wasn't killed in the locker room, that you could have taken her handbook and used it to get into the locker room and place the body inside. Hopefully, you would think that it would be a girl that murdered her because you think that only a girl can get in there. So what they're alluding to is she was killed outside of the locker room and they used her, her handbook to get in and that it was a boy that killed her, possibly. Or maybe it's a double red herring and it really was a girl. Holy shit, I don't know. <laughs> Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Okay. Don't make me repeat myself. Uh, uh, bacula. Bacula. <laughs> Why'd you call them bacula? Kuya. 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 Biakuya. 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 You think? Biakuya. Biakuya. Kuya. Hold on a second. I gotta take a sip of water. Okay, let's try this again. Kuya, 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 Biakuga, what Kuya, Biakuya, Biakuya, it's Biakuya. I won't let Genocide Jack have control over her again. Oh, have control ever again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you understand what she's saying? I get it. She's a schizophrenic. Yeah, she's a schizophrenic. That's gotta be this one. I already figured it out. <laughs> okay. What is going on? Uh, how exactly did all these files get in here? How did this school get all these classified files? Doesn't make any sense. It's kind of weird. Other the words. culprit isn't a copycat killer. It is the real genocide Jack. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so if what Byakuya is saying is correct, it seems like there is definitive evidence here that the killer really was the real Genocide Jack. And as I said, my theory here is that Toko actually is a schizophrenic and sh Ooh, why are there so many nudes in here? <laughs> Komatsu Taro, Takafumi Gono, Uchumana Hodo, Abadibada, and I hit her hair and all are there and they're all fucking dead. There was no end to it. This confused behavior suggests... The suspect may potentially suffer from disassociative identity disorder. What I just say? Toko actually is a schizophrenic and sh There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? It looks like blood. Maybe she was killed in here and then dragged to the girls' locker room? Maybe. Fuck. Alright, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> what was that? Let's go to the warehouse. What the fuck? Maybe we should have confessed our embarrassing secrets after all. Damn it, I'm sorry, Chihiro. It's all because I wasn't strong enough. You're just an idiot. Out of the way. Eh? And since I already had an error, I'm going to warn everyone about this too. Everyone who's watching this, if you do decide to get this game on PlayStation 4, I had one big issue. Um, I saved my game at the end of a session, okay? Then when I went to load it again the next time, it didn't show that I had saved the game, what it was showing was the old name of the save file that I had overwritten. It still said chapter one, even though I was in chapter two. So it screwed me over. I thought that it deleted the file. And then I went back after restarting the game and it showed as chapter two. And I was like, oh, are you kidding me? So apparently there's some kind of a visual display bug when you're loading a game. Be careful with that. And what I'm gonna actually do to show you, I'm gonna save over this one. So I'm saving over the first uh, save file, but then I'm gonna make a fresh one as well. Just to be sure I've double saved so I don't have to redo stuff. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. And that murderer is one of us! Someone standing right here. It's pretty obvious. It's, it's so easy to figure out this one. Unless they're gonna throw me for a loop, but it seems pretty damned obvious. Okay. That's the bullet time valve. Handiwork. Allows you to reload two bullets at once. Effective during bullet time battle costs four SP. Huh? You can reload two bullet. I don't know. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? What? I missed? I missed. I missed it. I missed this fucking Two word. <laughs> It appears it was a head wound. A 
According to the Monokuma file, okay. the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could there. it have been? Why isn't it working? What? It's not working. What is going on? I don't understand what's happening. It's bouncing off as if it, I'm not firing, but I am firing. Oh, uh, what? It appears it was a head wound. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? Dude, it's, why isn't it working? What? Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a head wound. Huh? So maybe I'm just not supposed to be firing at all? I thought I should, I should present the evidence, but apparently I'm not supposed to. I have no health left, by the way. <laughs> I'm super confused. It appears it was a head wound. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. Oh my god, that's what I was supposed to do? I missed! That certainly would make for a powerful weapon. Hero. Well, it's over. Chihiro's <laughs> injury. It appears it was a head wound. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. Finally. No, that's wrong. Well, I only wasted all my health we trying to figure this the out. That dealt you looked at her head wound? Yes! That's so creepy! Nah! More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> Boob lust. Boob lust! <laughs> okay, now this I like. Keep going. Oh my god, she's wearing a fucking bikini. What is going on? The name's Eva. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that was great. Motorboat time. <laughs> it's actually bloodlust. Is Toko genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. Yep, schizophrenia. It's a riddle for sure, but I feel like I understand it. But it means for genocide Jack to be Toko, but not to be. The answer is she's not one person, but multiple people. Yep. Hangman's Gambit. Uh, wait a minute. So I need to, I need to figure out what word this is. So skits. How do you spell schizo? I have no idea. Schizophrenia? No, it can't be schizo. I think there's a letter missing. Um, what the fuck letters am I looking for? I have no idea. What could this word possibly be? I literally have no clue. Uh, I need. I'm gonna try to get the I. It was an ass. It might be schizo. It is. Yup, I just need the O. I didn't know how to spell it. I think I read that somewhere in the file too. Right, it said it in the file, yep. They thought that the suspect might have, what did they call it? Dissociative identity disorder. <laughs> this is the real world, not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. Damn, she just got crushed. <laughs> yeah! 
Yeah, yeah. Genocide Jack. We're gonna have him testify. Oh my killer, testify! Toko's body suddenly lunged backwards. A huge thud echoed across the courtroom, but in the next second. Oh boy. Whoa! Is it me you were hoping to see? It's Genocide Jill. Look at her tongue. Nah. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Just kidding again. <laughs> okay. But sorry, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit. What? Huh? Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. Right. Are you sure about that? What? Da, 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 what da. the fuck? She had these scissors on her? What what the hell? She's fully equipped. Uh That's... Actually, hold on, there is one person. One person who could have copied the Genocide Jack cases. Yeah. Yakuya. It's Yakuya. Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? Maybe he did. Oh shit. I didn't even see that. There's a clear contradiction in what Byakuya Buk just said. Okay. So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found the body. Right. But he was acting weird. How? If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room... Oh my god! You absolutely take it! What a That's perv! A Ooh! This spring, one young girl levels up to become a high school idol! Yay! Oh yeah! I like what I see! So today, I'm gonna celebrate by pushing the limits of standards and practices! Oh baby, you bet I'm... Oh yeah! Cover those nipples with nothing but little Hershey kisses! Show what, huh? Yeah, I want to see your Twizzlers. I'm gonna bear it all for you. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. She's speaking my language. The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So, of course, I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? Huh. I wish you'd taken me with you. Oh my god, it's purr. I can't wait to get out of these clothes. No, I can't wait till you get out of those clothes either. Enter the girl's dorm, yes! Yes! Okay. I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Obviously, oh, God damn somebody it. else must have had it hidden away somewhere. I'm supposed to break that word first, okay. Alright, so we gotta wait again. Yeah. The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill, I use my very own special scissors. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. But I was trying to fast forward. I don't know how, though. It didn't work. It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right. It absolutely was. Then there must be something very... Fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Oh my god, it happened again. Obviously, somebody How am I supposed to do that? Hidden away somewhere. I have to do a double shot. I didn't know I have to do it twice, like boom, boom. God damn it. All right, I gotta do it again. I don't know how to fast forward. I'm trying, the it's not working. The cases? You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill, I use my very own special scissors. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. But Chihiro was suspended with... It was some kind of rope. Come on. Is it not? That's right. It absolutely was. Then there must be... How the hell do I fast forward? It's not... This slows down time. Hold down circle. Oh. oh. I'm gonna wait now. Hey, Byakuya. Where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. What? Oh, I got it. I don't know how I did that, but okay. Okay, let's say. Uh, okay, let's. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Yeah, we're all gonna get naked. Okay. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I just figured it out. She's a dude. She's a guy, which is why she would never uh, she would never do exercise with Sakura 
or Hina because she couldn't because she couldn't get into the girls' locker room because she's a dude. So, oh my god. Maybe. Maybe, like, she was coming onto Byakuya or something and then he killed her and wanted to hide it. I don't know. Man, this is messed up. What is this? Some uh -oh. kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? No, she's about to find Captain Winky. Ho ho! That's <laughs> not it at all. Put her hands together in a brief prayer. Sakura then begin to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body. And I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Chihiro is a fucking kid, a dude. Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? <laughs> this is... It, what is this? My god, it's huge! It's like a foot long! Look at this thing! Snakes around, she has to wrap it around her, her, her waist and her leg! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Yep. Not possible. It's not possible. Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This... this girl is... Is what? Is a boy! Dun dun dun! <laughs> so here's the thing. Now now it does fit in with the modus operandi of... A gruesome Jack or gruesome Jill because she's a guy. I don't know, this is weird. But then again, they've used the scissors, so... Huh. Chihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy! He was a cross-dresser? Oh, they were really on fire! Oh. I wish I had killed him! So the killer didn't, they see? Grus okay, Gruesome Jill didn't know she would have killed him. There's one thing we can be sure that we know about the killer. The killer was able to gain access to the real murder scene, which means... Think about this. The real murder scene. The real murder scene, they're saying, was the girl's locker room, right? But the truth of the matter is, anyone could have gotten into the girl's locker room using one of the e-handbooks from one of the deceased girls. The place they couldn't get into was the boy's locker room. Damn. This is... Uh... I'm just gonna say a guy, and if it's not right, then I'll say girl. But I think it's a, I think it's a, I think the killer's a guy. I got it. Nope, I was wrong. Since the crime scene was the boys' locker room, you need a boys' handbook to get in. And Liam's handbook was broken. The killer would have had to use their own. In other words, it had to have been a guy. But that's not enough. I need to find more clues. Okay, it was correct. Okay, okay. Time. That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Haha, <laughs> ugly noises. <laughs> Does Chihiro's track jacket really hold some clue about the killer? Somehow it really is hard to believe. So let's account. First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. Right. So next we have to ask. Oops. Why did he choose the specific track suit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! Hmm... So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! I... I don't even have a tracksuit! Haha! <laughs> Cause exercising sucks! <laughs> I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Whoa, wait a minute! Did any of That's them wrong! Really help us get any closer to figuring out That's wrong. who the culprit is? Yeah. No they way. Just said the, they just said the ones Not in the warehouse sense. are blue. We gotta go through you that again. Right? What he just said without even realizing it? Yeah, he said he got it from the warehouse. That's completely wrong. Because they're, they're blue. Yup. First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean the specific tracksuit? I got it. He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. Oh, here we go. So what you're Shit, saying? Shit, I missed is, it. The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him. My tracksuit is black. I. I don't even have a The one the suit. culprit was wearing. Because exercising sucks. 
I have a white tracksuit personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? No way. Not a chance. You heard him, right? What I swear, it could be one of two things. It's one of two things. Either the fact that what's-his-name said that it was the one the culprit was wearing when we wouldn't know that. Or it could be when he said that he had a white tracksuit and he got it from the warehouse, which is wrong. Huh. Yeah, all right. Let's First get back all, to it again. He was on his way. So next week, why did he choose? What do you mean? This I got it. It matched the one the. So the killer was wearing the same. My tracksuit is black. I. I don't even have a tracksuit. Cause he's exercising suck. I have a white tracksuit personally. I got it from the warehouse. No, that's not okay. that. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figure? No way. Not a chance. Damn it. You Go through it again. First of all, Wiki was on his way to go. So next week, why did he choose? What do you mean? This I got it. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him. My tracksuit is black. I I don't even. So I took blue tracksuit, right? Because how would he know that the killer had a blue tracksuit? I don't know. This is very confusing right now. Huh. Here, two bullet flashback. Hmm. And have a tracksuit. Cause it's just I have a white track. I got it from the way. Did any of that really help us? No way. Try again. Not a chance. You heard him. I used a blue tracksuit. We know which he was on his way to go. At. So next week, why did he choose? What do you mean? This? I got it. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So what you're saying is. The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? I don't want to do that. I screwed up. I want to do the next... Yeah, I screwed Shoot. up. Damn it, I don't First know. This all, is tough. You know which, if he was on his way, so next week, why did he choose? What do you mean? This I got it. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what? The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black. I... I don't even have a tracksuit. Cause exercising sucks. I have a white tracksuit personally. Uh, I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? Maybe Celeste's account? No yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know what to do. I gotta use Celeste's account against when he says First white tracksuit. That's gotta so be it. Why did he choose? What do you mean? Here's why. He's saying, it's, I have a white tracksuit and I got it out of the warehouse. But that's bullshit because we know that, that Chihiro got a blue tracksuit out of the warehouse and they're all the same. In the specific tracksuit. I got it! It matched the one- So, the killer was wearing the same- My tracksuit is- I, I don't even have a- Cause it's your size is I have a white tracksuit Here we go. Personally. No! Shoot! Oh my god, dude, I don't know! This is insane! This is way too First hard. Of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific? What do you mean the specific? I got it. He picked that. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same. The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him. There's only two or three, two or three statements you could take, right? Blue tracks, exercise, blue tracksuit, or white tracksuit. Celeste's account doesn't contradict blue or white. I already tried it on both, and they said no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. In blue tracksuit is him? Did that work? No, it's wrong. That's the one thing I didn't try. All right, I guess it works now. I don't know. Let's see why. I have no Hold idea on why. A second, Mondo. What did you just say? Huh? What'd I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... 
I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag, and then I assume he headed off to exercise. She, she never said anything about the jacket's color. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? Oh, shit. Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. What the but hell? Why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. The way he talked and the way he was acting. Because yeah. here, you gotta think of it this way, right? Mondo was the one who had been talking to, to, to Chihiro, remember, in his account? He had talked about getting strong and having to be strong. And even that Chihiro should work out in order to become stronger. So something happened behind the scenes between the two that we don't know about. And that must have led to the murder. Huh. Okay. So the way he was acting. There was no. a certain turning point that took oh, me off. I guess so. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo. But you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. Oh, wait a minute, and he did, he said dude to Shihiro earlier on. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him as dude. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Huh. You noticed such a tiny detail? I noticed it too, but I thought because it was a... a um, here it is. Is that an e hand? No, that's the laptop, that's the broken laptop. Mm -hmm. What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. Oh, never mind. I found, but it's busted. It won't even turn on. So, wait a minute. So, when they die, when the people die, their, 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 their handbooks won't turn on? But then why do Sayaka's and Junko's turn on? That doesn't make any sense. I imagine the culprit broke it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh... Let's test Makoto's assertion. Okay. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. Hmm. Says it works just fine. See what else he says. See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! I'm sure Mondo's handbook broke during the sauna showdown. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, you broke your own. In other words, if then that proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. I missed. See? Makoto was w Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Let's test if what he says you broke your own. In other words, if then that proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. What? See? <laughs> oh my god. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. Let's test if what he says you broke your own. In other words. If then that proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fu- Okay. No. Uh. Uh. That's, that's what's his name's hand. Okay. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. She made her way to the locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boy's locker room? No. Oh, come on. Because she had a boy's locker room key because she's a boy. It doesn't even make sense. Uh now I'm seriously have no idea. None of these make any fucking sense. Because she's a boy. It's so dumb. It doesn't make any sense. There's nothing wrong. Uh... None of this is wrong. What could it possibly be? It has to be something stupid that makes no fucking sense. 
Like this. I don't even know what this is. That's it. Oh my god, I gotta try. Maybe this is it because I swapped it out. I don't know. Let's sure see. Is you. Does it work? With bag in hand, Chihiro headed. She made her way to the locker room. But how could the victim? It worked. It worked. Okay. It's simple. Because she was really a key. So that's dumb. The two icons looked almost exactly the same. Once she's holding the card, once she's swiping it on the door, you're supposed to know the difference between the two? That's stupid. Which is okay. Now, by the way, I know how to do this a little bit better because someone explained it to me. <laughs> Time. It's Mondo Mondo. Mondo Mondo. <laughs> um... You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. Oh. Okay. <laughs> When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet covered in blood. I had a dumbbell in my hand, and I was just staring at him down on the ground. I... I killed I him. Killed your hero. Wow, that is a really, a really lame reason to kill him, Even by the way. All this. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Because I sure don't. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> just shut up, you son of a bitch. Go ahead, say that again, I dare you. Yep. Okay, I'll say it as many times as I want. Is what I want to say, but <laughs> unfortunately I can't do that right now because the time for punishing is fast approaching. Kid me. Execution well, time! Well now, well now, well now. That's what I promised you, right? The blacken that disturbs the peace will be Ridiculous. punished. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Alright. Yeah. Wait, wait! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Oh boy! Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made. From Oops, from one man to another. I pressed it too early. Here it comes. Mondo has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Haha, <laughs> motorcycle. A motorcycle. Race to the death, just like his brother. The cage of death. Oh, of course he escaped. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, is he gonna electrocute him? Well, how would that work? He's on a bike with tires. Uh. Uh. He was on rubber tires. How would that have killed him? Huh? Mondo butter. Two times the fat. I'm confused of how that killed him. I am really confused. At least the first death made sense. You're pummeled to death brutally with balls until your body's liquefied. I don't even understand how he died. Love and death of your soul will forever be at peace. Well, anyway, like I was saying... The hell's this? This is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. Anyway, uh... isn't it a... I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. Who's he talking to, the serial killer? You do... Huh. Well, huh. After... Huh. I know... Huh. <laughs> Weird. So there's one kid who's an insider working for Monokuma... And then there's gonna be a 16th student at some point. My god. Down to 10. Well, certainly some interesting twists going on here in this game. Holy shit. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. Oh god. 
She's gonna get killed. Oh my god. Oh shit. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Is that supposed to be Chihiro? Uh. Oh my god. Chapter 3. A next generation legend. Stand tall galactic hero. Daily life. Pokemon Bakuya still refused to show up. What is going on, man? Uh, okay. Surprise somewhere I haven't visited before. Oh, wait a minute. That is right. It's the third day. Maybe a whole new area has opened up in the school. That's actually quite true. That could have happened. That absolutely could have happened. Okay. 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 By the way, you know what just struck me? We still have no idea who this Kyoko girl is. She's very smart, though. A statue of Neo. I've never really heard of anyone using this Neo statue for life drawing classes. Who the fuck is a Neo? What? <laughs> I'm a fan of Ch Chirambo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Ron Pogi. Saburo Ron Ron Pongi? What? Saburo Ron Pogi? No. Saburo Ron Pongi? Oh my god. Okay, let's see. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I was in a very sexy two-piece with my boobs and cleavage exposed, my ass hanging out, and I was crying. <laughs> I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up until now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. Hina. Well, please continue. But... Well, I left my room and headed for the warehouse. Sadly, she put clothes on. <laughs> come on, come on. Lala! Shthulhu Fulgarin. What the hell? They're gonna be pervy and peek at the girls? We opened the door of the dressing room, silent as death, and peeked inside. It looked like the girls had already finished changing and gone into the bathhouse. This had all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way into the dressing room. The Forbidden Land. <laughs> what the fuck? What? So they really are taking a bath. Is this what Celeste meant about lying convincingly? Hmm. Mr. Hakakure, please refrain from pointless wimp whispering. We're deep in enemy territory here. <laughs> Just up ahead is the bathhouse, and there awaits a great dazzling passion. <laughs> oh my god, a great dazzling passion. Let's do it. Let's let's razzle dazzle them. Come on. I place my hand in the door leading into the bathhouse. I opened it gently, inch by inch. I maneuvered my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further, a little further, and then... On the other side of the thick, rising steam, I saw! Ooh! You saw it. You guys! Looks like everyone's here, so then let's get started. Not gonna lose you to ever again. You lose to you ever again. Bleh. Uh. Okay. We got some free time to spend in the school. We're gonna have a hangout. It's gonna be cool. We gotta see all the people in the hallways. Okay. Staircase is here, right? Aha! Anyone in the rec room? Let's find out. Ah! Multiple people. That's cool. Alright, let's see what they're doing. Uh, okay. So I guess when you say he's socially awkward, what is going on? Wait. It would seem... Ah, he's no way. Is this low? I didn't hang out with what's his name, too. The freaking... The guy whose name I never remember. Frizzy hair. The frizzy hair for psychic. I never remember his name. Hero for short. I don't know why I can't remember it. After dawn, I decided to head back to my room. Sakura was in there. Naked spread eagle. Oh, oh wait. Never mind. That didn't happen. <laughs> okay, I still have free time, so let's keep moving. 
Which we're gonna get back upstairs again. That was the only, the only floor I saw anyone on, so head back up. Cause this isn't look, this isn't showing where the people are. I thought I thought it was supposed to show icons for everyone was, but it's not. So I guess I just gotta explore myself. <clears throat> Let's go back to the third floor and see who else is up there. <clears throat> I don't know how many floors this school has. 20 floors. She was right there. Anyone else around? Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, let's uh, let's go down to the labs and stuff. Remember, there's the the art lab and the other place, right? Wait, what's this? Oh, the rec room. Anyone in the rec room? I almost forgot about it. There's nobody in the rec room. What a bunch of bo bo ugh. What a bunch of baloney. Ah, I took a sip of water there. That's why I froze for a second. Okay. Alright, should I maybe go to the art maybe someone in the art lab? Maybe. There's no one in any of these rooms. What is going on? Nobody. Son of a bitch. I don't know. I'm not finding anyone. I guess I get to the fourth floor. Joking, there's no one in here either. Oh, good lord, I cannot find anybody. I don't know, maybe go to the library? Can we do that? How do you go to another floor? I have no idea. Can't figure this out. I don't think you can fast travel or anything here. I swear you you could, but now I can't figure it out. Sakura was up here by herself, and no one else was on the third floor. All the rooms are empty. Where the hell is everybody? This is getting ridiculous. Where are they all hiding? Someone's in the library. There's no one in the library. Oh my god. They've got to all be in the same room then. Where the hell are they hiding? Classroom here. Random classroom. Are you in the exercise room with the pool and everything? Isn't it odd the pool's on the second floor of the school? How would that even be possible? Now that I'm thinking about it. It's not very viable, is it? Oh, they swapped the poster back. Look. They swapped the poster back, but guess what? There's no one in here! Did my game glitch out? <laughs> Seriously, did my game glitch out? Why can't I find a single person anywhere? Look. What is going on here? They're not in the library. They're not in the locker room. They're not in any of the place on the third floor. Where the hell are they in the first? Wait a minute. All right, I was going to say, how am I going to get in? If they let me in, I'd be like, well, that's a big hole there, a big plot hole. I'm back on the first friggin' floor. Are they in the gym? Oh 
my god! Dude, what is happening? <laughs> what is going on with my playthrough of this game? I can't find a single person. before the handbooks for everyone who died are placed inside. So grab one. Why not? Why not get a universal key to open everything? And they're not in the AV room. There's no way. Where the hell could they be? Back at the beginning where I started? I walked around for a good five plus minutes for no reason? Maybe they're in the bathhouse. Well, someone's here. Fuck it. I'm talking to Yasuhiro. I'm Give up. right. I'm assuming, by the way, when she said lingerie, I'm assuming what the saying is, he's sleeping with her now. Like, he had no interest in her before, but now that she's a genocidal killer, now he likes her or something. And they're sleeping with each other. Stop talking. Another day of free time. Gee, will I be able to find any fucking humans today? <laughs> Seriously. Let me give her the light. Correct. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Does that mean she liked it? I don't know. Did she like it or not? Apparently nothing happened. I can't read her at all. I seriously can't. I don't know what's going on with her. Good God. What is happening in this game? Okay. How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Huh? That's right. If you remember at the end of chapter two, it was revealed that Monokuma was talking to one of us. And if someone was supposed to be like an inside agent or something, huh? Then could it really be true? Whoever stole after Alter Ego, or oh boy, whoever stole Alter Ego, murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, and with this within, with, with what is going on? If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Huh. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what the hell he means by that. It's so weird because there's no, you know, there's no school or nothing. It's just she's trapped them in here to have them kill each other. At first we thought, oh, there's going to be like, a, a, maybe be like a terror school or something where they're like scaring the shit out of them or whatever. But instead, it's just, just stay alive. That's it. There's nothing else going on. It's so weird. Ten million dollars! <laughs> the music has picked up ominously. Huh? <laughs> this blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty. Secret beauty. The first thing I saw when I got into the rec room was... Hifumi completely naked, doing the helicopter. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? A fucking transformer, or it looks like the Megazord, is attacking Hifumi. What the fuck is going on here? Oh! <laughs> Come on! Holy shit! Yeah, exactly! What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. What the fuck? Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious. <laughs> A dude in a full body robot costume. I've been, you know, I've been to some conventions. I saw people cosplaying as like Optimus Private Chain. They look just like that. Dude, that is fucking funny. So this weird robot guy dragged to Fumi away. Okay. And I took this right after being attacked. Can't stop laughing. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but 
<laughs> the point is, someone dressed like that, they're so. I can't say. This is bad. Uh oh. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. And then we'll have a cosplay party on our hands here. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. That freakishly. Uh, that freakishly mentally deluded cosplayer. We have to stop him. Anyone knows anyone who would dress up like a fucking Voltron is, is fucking mentally disturbed. We came here together. Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. I guess they're not sleeping together. Indeed. This Robo Justice you're referring to is this is it is this is it now? I should just show him the picture. What the hell am I looking at? Ha <laughs> ha! He's excuse me acting just how I did. This is the one that attacks Celeste and Hifumi. Dude, it's just so creepy. It looks like he's grabbing them and he's gonna like bend them over. Like, uh, my bell bearings have been blue for too long. Must piston pound action your anus. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. It's so fucking funny. Oh my god. That's him, I'm this sure of it. He's unforgivable. Oh, he's unforgivable. <laughs> It's doing the dugga dugga dugga. Play those duggas, dugga dugga dugga. Chase him down with the dugga dugga dugga. It's the dugga dugga time. It's the dugga dugga rhyme. Dugga 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 Nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Oh, Jesus! Oh! There in a pool of his own blood was Taka. Dead. A double dirty murder. It's our first double murder. We were dropping like flies. A next generation legend, stand tall galactic hero. Now it's time for deadly life. Uh. Aww. When you cry upon a dweeb, blood will. What the fuck? What? This wasn't. He's alive again? What? Where am I? What? Cold. So cold. Is. Winter coming. He didn't die. Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. Huh? Hero. Yasu Hero. His eyes closed. And they never opened again. So he said Yasuhiro killed him. Yeah, it's funny. Celeste is an integral part of this entire thing. Now that she's recapping it, I'm seeing it. Celeste supposedly was the first person attacked, yet no one saw it, right? Celeste told him, oh, I saw a shadow. Oh, there's someone up on the third floor. She was the one who was guiding them all around the place. Huh. This time, Taka's body had disappeared. You know what I'm realizing? Now that we're recapping, there's a mistake here. I already know the mistake in the timeline. Here it is, right? So, according to Makoto, she's saying, oh, the bodies of Hifumi and Taka were discovered roughly around the same time, right? Here's what I'm thinking. When we heard the first announcement play, it was supposed to be for Hifumi being dead, right? But it wasn't because Hifumi wasn't dead, remember? He later came back to life when Hina grabbed him. She cried on him and he came back to life. He didn't die until then. And that's when the second announcement happened. So, the truth is, I think I don't think Hifumi was dead the first time. And that first announcement that we heard play was not for Hifumi. It was for Taka. So, I think there's, there's things afoot here. There were people moving around behind the scenes. And Hifumi was involved at one point, but then ended up getting killed anyway. Like, I think he actually was in on it. And, and then ended up, uh, you know what I mean? It's not as it seems. There's a double, there's a switch in here. There's a double switch in the background, a twist, where I don't think that first announcement of someone dead has been found was for Hifumi at all, because he wasn't dead. I think it was for Taka. And then later on, the second one was for Hifumi. So, we'll see. 
But I think that's what it is, and I think that's why, you know, Hifumi was able to move around and everything. I don't think Hifumi was dead at all that first time. He was able to get up and walk himself around. That's what I think. Do you think Hiro really did it? Hmm. I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died, he said Hiro's name. He did, but I don't think he died. That's what I'm saying. I think he was trying to frame Hiro. All right, you know what? Now I actually think I know exactly what happened. I think it's Celeste and Hifumi were working in cahoots. Because remember they were talking about an accomplice earlier? I think Hifumi was the accomplice. I think that Celeste was the murderer. She was the one leading them all around the, the building while Hifumi was running around doing stuff, killing Taka or whatever, right? Because she probably convinced him, oh, you could have Chihiro all to yourself, the Chihiro computer, if you kill Taka, because he's the, your rival who wants it, right? I'm figuring all this out behind the, before we even get to it. This is what I'm thinking. So, um... Hey, um, Makoto? Makoto? Oh, it's Makoto. I still can't pronounce the name right. Okay, well... All right, let's talk to Toko. Excuse me, Yoko. I screwed it up, Yoko. Right? What? Okay. 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 Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Look at the handwriting. It's obviously not him, it was someone else. Okay. It took a few minutes, but eventually we all got the pieces off. See, now, now here's, the, here's the proof. How could you have gotten in the suit, closed it with the clasp, and got, you know, and got him in there if you can't take it off once you're in it? That means you can't, you couldn't do the clasp either. So there's no way that anyone who gets into the suit could actually get in and out by themselves. So that just proves that there was collusion, that it was probably Celeste and Hifumi doing this together all along. It was Hifumi, and, not uh, Hifumi, it was a Celeste in the suit. And now they did, they framed uh, Hira. That's what I think. That's my theory. I'm running with it. So Makoto, or I keep saying Makoto to Makoto. Okay, okay, okay. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. Wait a minute. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So someone set him up, right? Taka. Had Taka come into the equipment room at 6 a.m. And Hifumi probably was in here, bonked him on the head, killed him. Right? Then left the body in here, of course. Then went off. And he had that little scuffle supposedly at 7 a.m. in the rec room. Um, which basically was set up by Celeste and Hifumi to frame... Uh, to frame, uh, what's his name? Hero. Right? Then we had that little setup, that shindig. Uh, they helped out Hifumi. Hifumi ends up in the nurse's office, fakes his own death. So they think he's dead. Celeste then has them running all around the different floors. While, uh, uh, while it looks like, uh, he, he ran to the equipment room. Or this, this room, yeah. He ran to... No, not this room. He ran to the, uh... God, now I'm confused as shit. Let's just keep going. I'm so confused. Time okay. for the class. Okay. Breathing technique. Focus gauge recovers more quickly. Effective during the non-stop debate, handmaid's gaming, and bullet time battle. All right, I got all four equipped. Good. All right, this should be it. Trial begins. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! <laughs> Who are you calling a murderer? I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprint for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit. The evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> is Hero really the killer? Or before anything else, we have to make that clear. All right. Yasuhiro's message. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. 
It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! That's it? Wow. Looking at the blueprints, that handwriting is awfully messy. If I remember right, Hero's handwriting is... Yep. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they... They are all proof enough that you are the culprit. Gonna work. What the hell? I, I, I don't know uh -huh. anything about that stuff! It's not true! How do you fast forward? I think it's circle, right? Oh, it's a conspiracy! Yep. You're a lot. No! Just hold on a second! Everything we found in your room. That didn't work. Shoot! Wait a minute, is this the wrong thing? Everything we found in your room. How do I switch between- Wait! I don't want to do that! How do I switch between two bullets? Prince, the suit part. There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about reloading. Starting with this next bullet time battle, you're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, under the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you how you destroy your other opponents. On how you destroy your opponent's statements. I couldn't read it, but from now. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So perfect. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Away with you. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. I'm not doing this, Sir Height. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. Here we Do your go. Worst, you miserable wretch. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. You can't do anything. Negative. Lies will get you nowhere. I'm a negative guy. Away with you. I didn't understand it. Now I get it. You I forgot what the buttons were here. Dude, I can't I do anything. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. I can't do anything. You're worst. You miserable wretch. You miserable wretch. I'm stuck in negative time. I couldn't do anything. It said negative the entire time. Well, that was dumb. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Away with you. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. I'm not doing this, Your Height. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. Here we go. Worst. You miserable wretch. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. You can't do anything. Negative. Lies will get you nowhere. I'm a negative guy. Away with you. I didn't understand it. Now I get it. You I forgot what the wretch. buttons were here. Dude, I can't I do anything. Agree. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. I can't do anything. You are worst. You miserable wretch. I'm stuck in negative time. I couldn't do anything. It said negative the entire time. Well, that was dumb. You act like you're so superior, but you can't do anything. Oh, what? I got the most votes, but I'm not the blackened. Why the hell did I get the votes? That's pretty funny. I refuse to give up yet. That was weird. I didn't realize that's what it was going to be. <laughs> yep, the robot justice costume. Here we go. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body in the tarp. Correct. Then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? There you go, that's it. Keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Crap. Well, all you'd have to do is bend over. Here we go. Got it. Yeah. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? No, no, no. What yeah. do you mean? Uh. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? Oh boy. You all got a good look at it. 
Did you not? It's doctor. The it's image a doctor's of photo. Hifumi. That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. That's what I decided to call him just now. See, this is bullshit. This is all bullshit. Because how did he first of all, how did he know the name of the suit was Robo Justice unless he was involved in making the suit? Robo Justice. That's what I decided to call him just now. <laughs> okay. I okay. So Matakuma file number three. Okay. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before Hifumi, or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3 while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. Yeah, I've missed. I want to say, the, the hammers has nothing to do with that. Yeah, were they used in that order? No, they weren't. We so, don't have any evidence of that. Regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before he, or perhaps it was... We already know Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. No. Shoot. All right, well, that wasn't it, then. Whatever. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before Hifumi, or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. What? Shoot. Am I supposed to maybe select the statement? Remember, there's a button you're supposed to do. Select a statement. So, oh, I don't want that. Fuck, I don't want to do that. Taka's death. R1 concentrates. If you target weak spot and hold down the triangle button, you can use that weak spot as a temporary truth bullet later in the argument. Yeah. I That's what I need to do he here, I guess. Before he threw me. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came okay. last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. God it's damn it. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came thing. after. So... Regarding Taka's, I wonder if or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka okay. came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It happened again. It's true that he Fumi was killed by Taka's death. See? God damn it! So, Taka came... <laughs> so reg I wonder if or perhaps it was. We already know what order they were killed. Taka came last. What makes you say? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammer. It's true. Oh my God! Just while Taka I missed death. again. See? So it's obvious. This is Taka hard. So, I wonder if he or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that what? Hifumi was what? killed with Justice while Taka was dead. It passed through it. See? So it's it passed Taka through it and didn't count. So. Regarding Taka's, I wonder if he did, or perhaps it was. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. Dude, this it's is ridiculous. True that was killed while if Taka's I shoot, death. I don't have enough time to shoot and then so fire the other bullet. I'm wasting so much so, time here. Regard, I wonder if, or perhaps it was. We already know what order they were killed. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true. I can't do it. Dude, I can't do it. So it's obvious, I can't do it. This is ridiculously tricky. So, I wonder if he or perhaps it was. We already know what order they were killed. Taka came last. Oh my god. What makes you say? Because of the num It's true that he flew while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came. So, look, I wonder if he or perhaps it was. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. Finally! No, oh my what? god!
Alright, the evidence that proves Taka was killed before Hifumi. Something that released at what time he must have died. The note, I think, right? A hangman's gambit. Oh, it's an eye. I need the eye. Now the T, it's written no. I need T. Whoa. Okay, I failed. I thought it was the written note, and it's not. What is it then? Hangman's the gambit is tough. I refuse to give up yet. Hangman's gambit is tough now that the words are getting longer. Oh, the wristwatch! The wristwatch! That's what it is. It was, the wristwatch said six o'clock. Remember? Okay. But all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. You know, here's the thing, though, and here's where the game actually doesn't hold up. I just found a big plot hole. Even though his watch is broken and stuck at six, it's a winding watch. You could have easily wound the watch back to say six o'clock. So there's a ginormous plot hole right here that I don't think they're ever gonna address. That kind of sucks that I just figured that out. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> All right. The broken wristwatch. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Here we go. Shortly, you heard the body discovery announcement along with no. the rest of us. No. Hifumi's dead body had been found. Don't. It wasn't Hifumi's body. Shoot. It wasn't Hifumi's body. That was for Taka. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Shortly, you heard the body discovery announcement, along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Yes, that's correct. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? Here we go. No. Hifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard the body of Hifumi's dead, and that is are we real? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's Damn discovery. It. Shoot! Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office? There's a chance he was actually still alive. No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Shortly, you heard the body discovery announcement, along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's no, discovery. No, damn it! It's gotta be the only, the one combination I didn't freaking do. It sucks because it's not apparent at all. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi, there's a chance he was actually st- No. Hifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard the body discovery announce. Hifumi's dead body- No, I don't want that! Oh my god, well I fucked up. I wanted to grab that. Shoot! Yeah, I fucked up. I wanted to grab that word, not fire a bullet at it. Ugh. The mini games are the most annoying part. I already know exactly what happened, but I can't get the mini game to work. <laughs> I know the whole the whole story. I figured it out, but I, I can't get the mini game to work. No, I don't want to take another I shot. I give, give up. I give up. <laughs> I completely give up. 
Right, let's try again. Are you saying that when we heard there's a chance you- No. Kifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard the body discovery and Kifumi's dead body had been found. There. And that is why the- Are we really so sure? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's What? Discovery. Dude, I did every combo! I've done every combination now. What? I swear I've done every combination. Shoot! Are you saying that when we first found there's a chance you- No. If Kifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard the body get Kifumi's dead, and that is- Are we real? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. I couldn't grab it. I tried. Are you saying that when we oh first found there's a God. chance you- No. Kifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard the body get Kifumi's dead, and that is- Are we real? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone Got else's it. discovery. Now can I use that in the next round? Yes, that's that how you do it. I didn't know you could do that. Office, there's a chance he was actually st No. Kifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard go. the body discovery announced and Kifumi's dead body had been found. There, finally. No, I didn't know you had to go to the end and select a word and it would stay for the next round. I had no idea you could even do that. They never was explained the that. Uh, yep. The first time it was the first time the body announcement played was when we found each body in the nurse's office in the equipment room. The second time was when, just after Hifumi came back to life. Yup. Shoot! What? I was wrong? What? The first time we played was when we found each body in the nurse's office in the equipment room. The second time was when... When both bodies were eating... No, when Togo was found unconscious. No. Shoot. Oh my god. Fine. I got it. Whole body's rediscovered. Okay, let's <laughs> Hidden note? That's right. We found it stuffed in his pants. What? In his <laughs> pants? Mm. Yes. His pants. What the Oh yes, his pants. Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> Ooh, Sakura, we didn't know you were such a bad girl. <laughs> what the fuck is coming out of Genocide Jill's body? Look, like spikes. I'm surprised. It seems there's some semblance of a brain knocking around that skull of yours after all. Uh, the weapon that was used, him. It won't. The picture surrounding the, the case won't become clear till we figure it out. I have to find the truth. I already know, though. <laughs> the spot. There it is. The spotless hammer. What was used to kill Hifumi? There! Oh, come on! That should have been easy enough. The spotless Shoot. hammer. It would have been great if that was it. <laughs> what was used to kill Hifumi? The spotless hammer, do it! Oh. Was it Justice Hammer 3? Maybe Justice Hammer 4? Well, whatever it was, there's one thing we have to figure out. How was the culprit able to move around so freely with the weapon? How did nobody witness them carrying it? Sounds like a Justice Hammer 5 is about oh, to be I guess not. Shoot! That would have been the what answer, though, because it was spotless if they washed was it. it just, maybe just as well. There's one, how was the culprit able to... How did nobody witness them? Sounds like a Justice Hammer 5 is about to make its appearance! Check out MurderGear.com for Hammer Time for more info! I should just watch the whole thing once Shoot. first. What was used to was it just maybe just as well? There's one. How was the culprit? How did nobody? Sounds like a justice hammer. Check out murdergear.com. Well, one thing seems the murder weapon had to be one of the justice hammers. And there we go. Okay. 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 This okay. <laughs> Shush. The adults are talking now. Whoa! Oh, uh, no one had told her the taco was dead. How did she make a comment to saying that they're both dead? All I said was, they must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, nope. frightened and confused. The next statement. They must be positively elated. Here it comes. We are all going to die here. No. We are going to die. Here we go. Just like those guys died. Got it. And that is all I said. 
And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Yep, look, what? That's correct! Dude, that's bullshit. She said those guys, that's what's so strange. Shoot! Bullshit! Fuck that, that's complete bullshit. All I said was, they must really be enjoying the sight of us standing around. Right, they must be- We are all going to die here. We are going to die. Just like those guys die. And that is all I said. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? What was so strange oh, about the last comment? So strange. Fire that at what she said, those guys. All I yep. said was, they must really be enjoying the sight of us. They must be. We are all going to die here. We are going to die. Just like. There we go. It's the opposite no. order, which makes no sense. It should have worked either way. That's lame. That should have worked either way, in my opinion. That's okay. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. She gave him something, apparently. I don't know what the fuck she gave him. There's a ball, and I don't think that's it. The camera. He gave her the camera. Oh my god, this is gonna be tough. I don't know what the fuck this is either. Damn, these are tough. This doesn't make any sense. What the fuck is this? This? To show that he got blood on the hammer as well, maybe? Maybe. It shows he got the blood on the hammer, right? I don't know what the hell else this one could be. It's not chips or the poster. And it's not the ball. Those aren't even related. This ain't right. This ain't right yet. The body. No, I know what this is. This is over here. This is him pushing the body. So that's this. Yup. That's correct. They found him in the library. With hammer two. <clears throat> right? Yeah, he was with hammer number two. This might be correct now. Let's play it through and see if there's anything wrong. Okay. Let's see, let's see if this is correct. You. Oh my god, it's already wrong? What the fuck? There we go. Exactly this might be happened. it. This might be it. Ah, I need a hammer three. I need a hammer three here. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is this? Why are there all these roses? Why are they fusing? What the fuck is this? <gasps> okay then. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. Yep, for her, the ultimate gambler. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Oh yeah! I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. What? Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? Huh. I can't say I ever saw it that way. Is it a key that was number 11? And I guess Kyoko's looking for it? Huh? Which is why... I guess the, that's the key to the locker. Actually, it's not important. Well then, take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. Nope. <laughs> You're done. Here we go. First the crime, not the pun. Hopefully this punishment's better than the last one. Here we go. What the hell? Well, this is elaborate. The burning of the Versailles witch. Oh shit, they're gonna burn her alive at the stake. 
Yup. Oh boy, it's gonna be a crispy one. This would be a pretty risky one. She has a burning down the whole place. Uh, this is some artsy shit, huh? Ha! Oh, fire department shows up. Yes, of course. What the fuck? <laughs> the fire department drives into her. It's not the fire that kills her, the fire department runs her over. What the hell? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is it disturbing to anyone else that Monokuma has an Audi? He's a fucking stuffed animal and he has an Audi. <laughs> not an any. Not an Audi, the car, an Audi belly button. Audi. Okay, so secret Kyoko told me about, could it really be hidden here? Uh... Uh... <laughs> it's a door. Just like Kyoko had said. Correct. Okay, hold on. I'm actually just in the volume of tiny bed. I think it's a little too loud. There we go. What is happening? We've got to find out. Some wild happenings here. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the jam. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. Jesus. Whoa! Looks like Sakura has taken a chance to fight Monokuma one-on-one -on -one and is trying to escape. Okay. Chapter 3, A Next Generation Legend, Stand Tall Galactic Hero, is complete. And what a cliffhanger to end it on. Damn, not many left, huh? Down to like less than half. To be continued.